They've been out of school since September 2022, just weeks before their village was recaptured from Russian occupation by Ukrainian forces. With schools still closed, their will to continue learning is stronger than ever. Mykola and his friends sit in a makeshift classroom hidden behind a water tower on top of a hill, the only spot with internet connection near their village, Hontarevka. We come here and sit for two to three hours. Sometimes we only sit here for an hour. When it got cold recently, it wasn't too great, so we didn't want to sit around for long. One hour was the maximum. The 10-year-olds built the tent themselves with plastic sheets, wooden poles and sand found in their homes and nearby farms. I brought my own plastic sheets from our makeshift house. We also brought ropes from a farm. The tent attracted more classmates who also came to learn, listening to lectures sent by their teachers and sending assignments back and forth via messaging apps. The teachers were impressed at the children's enthusiasm for learning, despite their classrooms still being closed. I was really in awe of the children. I didn't expect them to create something like this. We did forward them workbooks, told them some things, forwarded lessons and materials. Thanks to the internet, however bad it might be, we can communicate with the children. With no internet in the village for months on end, adults occasionally come to the hill in hope of catching 3G to reach out to their families. But for these boys, their tent remains a sanctuary to which they go to every day.